Competitive with great attention to detail, David. Thanks. Kobe, in, in other sports, I mean, people always admired the mind of Peyton Manning playing in the NFL. Tom Brady, the way he thinks the game through. I compare you to that. Did you have that same kind of uh, fascination in other sports with the great players that were similar to you in basketball? Yeah, yeah, we, we used to get together. I, I remember the, the first time I met Peyton was at an Orlando Magic game, 99. He came in the locker room, and we were just starting getting started. So I was just asking questions about his process and stuff, and he started going to, like, my cover two and, sip, 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 da, 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 da. and I was like, <laughs> and he went on for like a good five minutes. When he was done, I said, Peyton, I don't understand anything you just said, right? But, but he spoke at a level of detail that was beyond fascinating. You were impressed by that. Yes, which then leads to more questions. You're like Tom, Tom and I talk often about that stuff too. And how much we love the game, how much we love the process and the attention to every little detail. It's fun to be around, no matter the industry. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. And so in the game for the Rockets. Paul and Harden are the incredible backcourt duo. Gordon out there with P.J. Tucker. And it's Fareed in at the center position. Inside. And finished off by LeBron. Oh, come on. You can't allow James to get position down low. Once he does, he's looking to dunk it. Harden against Ingram. And Tucker has it in the corner. Hands it from downtown. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. Ingram outside. And the foul on Harden. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, quick foul to pick up right away here in the first quarter. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. They get a hand on it. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Harden. Lakers have gone two or three here to start out the game. In the NBA, because the, the players are so individually great and we all know about them, and the league pushes them in that direction. You know, you got the torch from Michael. You then gave it to LeBron for that. You know, it was Dr. J and yeah. and and how I find that amazing how the torch is passed from one great player to another, yet each are so individual in their accomplishments. <laughs> did, did, did you like receiving it, and did you like passing it on? Yeah, I love both. Um, you know, the receiving and then passing it yes. on because it's, it's the infinite cycle. It's an infinite loop. And the game just continues to evolve and players continue to grow. And so I was happy to be a part of that chain after watching it for so many years growing up from, you know, Magic and Larry and then to Michael and then to myself and LeBron and now whoever comes next. It's, it's just, it's an infinite loop and I'm happy to be a part of it. And Kobe talking about passing the torch. Do you actually say, hey, you're taking over when I leave the game? And, and then on top of that, did Jordan say the same thing to you? Hey, Kobe, it's it's Shoot your two. league now. Take it. No, it, it becomes apparent when you uh, start winning championships. Mm -hmm. That is the that's the tell all right. Can you lead a team to win a championship and not just one, but multiple championships? And that's what determines who gets the torch next. Mm. And he's good on the second. And when engaged, Rondo is special. A, a triple-double threat who does a little bit of everything for his squad. Harden finds Paul. Here is Harden. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And the shot is good. And you just hate to give up those second chance points. Uh, it can be discouraging, frustrating, but you only have yourselves to blame. Box out. Now here's Ingram. 
He's coming off a 19-point game against the Hawks in Atlanta. And he's just a tough defender. Good positioning to get after that shot. Well, not all defenses are constructed to protect the mid-range area. Nicely done that time. Sinks the three-pointer. Paul's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Lakers trail by three. Kobe are so decorated in every way individually and as a teammate with the five championships of all the things, the all-star games, the all-defense, all the individual things you've accomplished, what is the one thing you, you might cherish? And you may have alluded to it with the championships, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, but at the end of the day, is that the one thing above everything else that you covet? Um, no. You know, I, I, the fact that I can look in the mirror and honestly say I gave everything to the game. And that was obvious. That's, but that's the thing. Mm -hmm. right? You don't want to feel like you've left anything on the table. There's no stone left unturned. I gave everything to the game that I possibly could. That, to me, is the best, the biggest accomplishment. What a feel. Yeah. Houston shooting their first free throws of the night right here. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. That free throw good from Harden. Well, look, I love how Harden does a little bit of everything. Aggressive score, solid rebounder, superb passer, and he's also improving on the defensive end. Harden hits them both. He's so confident, so self-assured on every free throw he takes. Lakers trail by three. James looking it over. Ingram wide open. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. I mean, the passing genius of LeBron coming to the surface. I mean, a look that only a few players in the league can make. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Last time they met in Houston. Yeah, it was a narrow win. But at that last meeting, I think foul trouble for the other side may have really just tipped the scale and allowed them to escape with the W. Yeah, it did. I mean, uh, they were smart about it, Mark. Once the foul started to add up on the other side, they really turned up the heat. Kobe, I can only imagine the hours you spent studying the legends who came before you, Michael Jordan, and probably other players as well. Well, yeah, because you have to ask yourself the question is, why are these moves that are being executed working? Right. It's not good enough just to look at them and say, okay, they work. I'm going to go out and try to do the same thing. That's not good enough. You have to try to understand why they work. And in other situations, why didn't they work? But I always thought, too, you put your special spin on you, you took, you followed this road map, but then you, you took the exit ramp and then put your own spin, own feel on the, on the move or play. Well, yeah, because we all, we, we both had different teams, right? He, he had a different cast of characters that he played with. He had a different role and different responsibility than I had on my team. So I've had to kind of adjust those things in the timing of our games and when we attack and you know, when we facilitate and all those other things. Um, so, but, you know, the, the basics of the game remain the same, whether it's myself, whether it's Michael, whether it's Jerry West, you know, those things are all consistent. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Well, I like the decision making, though. I mean, that's a shot you want to keep taking. Now, here's Rondo. Last game he had 13. Six to shoot. McGee in the high post. Knocked loose. Here's the three. Unable to get that one. The Rockets go the other way with it. Shot by Gordon. Wide open. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Timely passing leads to assists. And that's been the recipe for success. 
James with it, and it's Gordon picking him up. Now here's Ingram. He's covered closely. Chalk up two there. Not stubborn. Ingram loses his size and athleticism getting to the paint. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Houston Rockets. It's a three-point game. Launches a three, and again, it's the Rockets from deep. Well, no matter what, he's always going to be one of the most dangerous men on the court. Well, it was the Los Angeles Lakers in their last game, a loss to Atlanta. Rondo dishes to Ingram. Back to Rondo. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And the slam dunk by McGee. And when you're open, Rondo finds you. Always has his head on a swivel. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Habit. And Kobe, you think about playing the game. You don't miss the physical side of it, but I know the mental side was so big for you, especially as your career went on. Well, yeah. Well, every season was a new puzzle, right? So, it's, you know, as a leader of the team, it's not so much about yourself. You, know, you have to put that to the side and think about how to put together the puzzle for your teammates. How do you put them in the situation where they're reaching their max potential? Yes. Right? That's what gets the championship done. So every season is exciting because the puzzle is new. <laughs> right? The emotions, the goals that your teammates have are all new. And so you have to figure out how can you put them in the best possible position to be successful and in turn help us win a championship. That's a great explanation. Muscala, he's checked in for the Lakers. Caldwell Pope comes in for Ingram. And it's just been an avalanche of points here in the early going. Yeah, both teams have come out with solid offensive strategies. And then, of course, guys are finishing. Now, here is Muscala. Nice, and you can't forget about the bunnies on Caldwell Pope. I mean, this guy is definitely looking to slam it down whenever he gets an opportunity. Paul kicks to Fareed. Back to Tucker. Launches it. No good that time. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Oh, Fareed in position. And here we go. Fast break. Kuzma's got it. That's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Kuzma's got it all tied up now for Los Angeles. Houston's gone 4-6 from long range here early on. Harden outside. Kicks it to Fareed. Pass to Paul. And he gets it to go. Paul's got seven points in the game. For the Houston Rockets, they come into tonight following a loss to the Timberwolves in Minnesota. LeBron against Gordon. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Defense is right there. Shoots over Tucker. Again, Los Angeles. And Kobe, one aspect that always stood out about your career and dedication was your work ethic. What motivated you to continue to work hard even into your last year in the NBA when your body sometimes would say, <laughs> no more work, yeah. right? Yeah. No more work. Yeah, I, I love the process. You know, I love the process more than the actual game. You know, because it's a puzzle. You have to figure out how things are going to work. Okay, my ankles won't loosen up. Mm -hmm. How do I get them to loosen up? Right? Contrast there, stretch, modalities, strength training. Right? So it's a constant That would puzzle. take hours and hours and hours. Hours and hours and yeah. hours. Very tedious things. But you're, it's like a quest. You're, you're trying to figure out what's going to work. Right? It's the little challenges along the way that always kept me interested. Mm -hmm. Basket, good. And it's eight points for Kenneth Fareed. And that keeps him perfect from the field this quarter. Caldwell Poe passes to James. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. There's almost no stopping LeBron if he's allowed to get inside. Too strong, too skilled. Now here's Harden. Five points in the game. To the middle. Feeds it to Rondo. The Rockets pull it in. And here's Gordon. 
He's coming off a 13-point game against the Timberwolves in Minneapolis. Well, he also made a mark with his passing and had the assist total to show for. Outside Rondo. Caldwell Pope with it. Chris Paul covering. And Rajon Rondo, the basket on the assist by Caldwell Pope. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Timeout called the Rockets. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. There should only be one thing they're talking about in this timeout. Trying to deny him the ball in the paint before he does any more damage. Some changes here for the Lakers. Lance Stevenson's checked in for James, and it's Reggie Bullock in for Rajon Rondo. Houston with a big group substitution here. Nene, he's checked in for Kenneth Fareed. Gerald Green comes in for Eric Gordon. Amon Shumpert's checked in for James Harden. And it's Austin Rivers in for Chris Paul. Now here's Rivers down low. And the shot's good from Nene. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Looking at Los Angeles, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Hawks in Atlanta. Passes it to Muscala. He kicks to Caldwell Pope. Shoots over Tucker. That one a little long. And it's Rivers with the ball. He brings it up for the Rockets. Trailing by two, the score now all even. Green's got his first points of the night. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Stevenson against Green. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Not a lot of room. Kuzma, that's good. He's reason number one there in front. I mean, his shooting has been almost flawless. Houston's gone 4-7 from three-point range so far in the first. And Shumper kicks to Rivers. Shoots over Bullock. Rivers can't get it to go. And the basket by Stevenson. Stevenson's got his first basket. Well, then Caldwell Pope really sees the court well. Everyone knows this guy can shoot, but his passing is also outstanding. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Now here's Rivers. He's guarded by Bullock. Rivers kicks it to Tucker. Five on the clock. Good on the triple. Tucker's got his second bucket of the night. Really good job there. That's the definition of the inside-out game. Three-pointer. What a play. He simply drains it in at the buzzer. And money to end the quarter there with the triple. Uh, what a lift that shot gives him. Great end to the quarter. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. Los Angeles on top. They're up by four. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. Rockets elevated by James Harden to one of the league's powerhouse franchises, and he talks about seizing the moment. Yeah, this time isn't going to last long. You know, we have a window. It goes by extremely fast. I cherish these moments. You know, I embrace them. Never a guarantee that the window will remain open. And superstar players, let's face it, they're best remembered for their championships. It's all about the rings if you're James Harden. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. 
And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? I mean, a solid first quarter, especially looking at that plus turnover ratio. Yeah, aggressive on D, efficient on offense. They bought out to an early lead. This is how the floor looks for the Rockets starting the second. Amon Shepard is out there with Rivers. Then there's Nene. Then it's P.J. Tucker. And it's Green in at the three. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, Kyle Kuzma had a tough upbringing in Flint, Michigan. He said they had the recession, lead in the water. It was like an urban war zone. We probably moved 14 times before I was 16. Basketball was my key. And his drive to succeed in the NBA was born of a desire to escape that environment. Kevin? A tremendous work ethic, David. Thank you. Rockets trail by four. Kobe, a lot of guys would keep uh, written notebooks on team styles, individual players. Some do it mentally. What did you do? I used to do that, too, at the start. And then I started kind of looking at the lineage of coaches. and started figuring out that most of them come from the same coaching pedigree. Therefore, the defensive packages are pretty much the same. So you, stu you study <laughs> so, coaches. Well, yeah, because the defensive schematics are all the same. Like, if you look around now, how many Popovich disciples do you have? Mm -hmm. A lot. Right, so you're essentially playing against the same defensive strategy that you would see against a Popovich team. The same offensive philosophy that you see from a Popovich right. team. Right, so it's all consistent. It's all there. For Los Angeles, they have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. Yeah, last season, around 71% of the free throws made. And you know what? That has to be a point of emphasis this year. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. JaVale McGee's checked in for Mike Muscala. And it's Brandon Ingram in for Contavious Caldwell What's that, gentlemen? And the free throw, no good. Yeah, and for being the 27th pick in the 2017 draft, uh, Kuzma has made his mark early, already surpassed expectations. Now here's Shumpert. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Shoots over Bullock. No good off the back of the rim. The movement and the shot selection are good there, but you can't hit them all. To the inside. Ingram against Rivers. Outside, Green. The Rockets again can't hit. Lakers leading by six. Pass to Ingram. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Ingram's got his third basket of the night right there. That's their third straight make off an assist. Rivers gets to jump. There's the pass to Tucker. They kick it out to Green. Shot clock at six. Houston needs to get a shot. Tucker can't get it to go. Well, he had two three-pointers in the opening quarter. And it hasn't been able to connect yet here in the second. Kuzma passes to Ingram. And it's Houston on the break. Green with the ball. Here's Shumpert. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. Even that close to the bucket. That's a very tough finish in that kind of trap. McGee, and it's McGee with the jam. A oh, fruitful possession. Just doing what they can to extend the lead. And that's what you have to do. Stay in the moment. Keep grinding. And, Kobe, you look at the different styles and different approaches the teams employ. How much input did you have to say, hey, this is what I'm seeing. This is how I think we should play. Yeah, well, that, that was the beauty about Phil's system. The triangle was that the players had to take the responsibility of making it what it was. Right? He gave us a format to play out of, and he gave us the structure. But within that structure, you have a myriad of options. Right. And it's our responsibility, it was Michael's and Scotty's responsibility, to figure out how to put Luke Longley, how to put Derek Fisher in the right spot on the floor to take advantage of the defense that you're facing. Sounds complicated. No, but you know, when you, when you look at it, like the triangle, it spells things out very simplistically because you have rules. Right. When you have rules, then it's very easy to say, okay, when this happens, this happens. Mm -hmm. When that happens, this happens, right? So it makes the game very, very easy to measure. And so things don't happen on accident, right? They happen with intent. Yeah, and the amount of points they've given up here in the paint, that, that's what they've got to talk about. 
Ooh, this is ugly. No question about it. And you wonder if these matchups aren't favoring them right now. And let's look at the numbers here for Brandon Ingram. A very nice season for him last year. Last season put up about 16 points a game. Five rebounds and four assists. And he's been putting up points with regularity. I mean, that's what they depend on, his killer instinct on offense. Yeah, anytime this club needs a basket, he's their go-to guy. Just an irrepressible, prolific score. Will it go? A nice shot by Rivers. Rivers has got four this quarter. Lakers leading by eight. Bullet kicks to Ingram. To the paint. Looking for McGee. He gets it there. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Outside, Green. Back to Rivers. To the right side. Tucker can't get it to go. Their stroke has not been what they needed it to be, but looks like they're going to keep going to it. Here's Kuzma. Bullock. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. And that pattern continues, guys. Another heat check. Another log on the fire. Oh, I know this feeling. They're in that special zone where you feel untouchable. They haven't missed in a while. And it's Rivers with the ball. He brings it up for Houston. A 12-point game. Outside, Green. Back to Rivers. And Tucker has it in the corner. Hits the three-point bomb. Tucker's got nine. And he's doing some good work from long range. I mean, he had two threes in the first quarter, and now he's got one in the second. Ingram up top. Guarded by Tucker. Bullock, good. And some guys just have a nose for scoring. And this one couldn't have been any easier. I mean, I don't know whether to say it's amazing or sad, but you're down double digits and you still allow an uncontested layup. Where is the pride? Where is your heart? Again, the rocket score. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Down low. And Kuzma slams it in. And it only takes a few buckets for Kuzma to get going. He's a crafty, dangerous scorer. Here's Rivers. He's got six. Floats one up. Here's Tucker. JaVale McGee grabs the miss. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Well, he did a great job of staying patient, letting the man make his move, and getting right up on the jump shot. And some changes here for the Lakers. LeBron comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Rajon Rondo is subbed in for Reggie Bullock. Houston also making some changes. Fareed's checked in for P.J. Tucker. Gordon comes in for Green. And it's James Harden in for Iman Shumpert. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here's Rivers. Fareed outside. Outside Gordon. Let's it go from deep. And another three for Houston. Well, you really do have to D up Gordon from deep. I mean, he doesn't need much time to get his shot off. Now LeBron. He's coming off a 28-point game against the Hawks in Atlanta. And here's Ingram from the arc. Trains the three-pointer. Ingram's got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. Uh, okay, we got a nice little back and forth going here. And I love it, Greg. Both sides inflicting damage from the perimeter. We'll see how the defense is adjusted. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's got three assists now in this one. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Rivers finds Fareed. Rondo with the steal. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The D is no shot at stopping James when he gets that Two low shots. in that position. Foul. He's too big, too Elbow. strong in the paint. Two. you got to foul him. This is his first free throw of the game. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the stripe in that last game. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Well, the GOAT watch continues. Every year, every accomplishment goes into the analysis. I mean, LeBron will probably never be able to escape. The Rockets making a switch here. Paul's checked in. Good on the second free throw. Here is Harden. Last game out, we saw him pour in 42. There's the triple. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. McGee, the pass to Ingram. Ball's knocked loose, and that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for the Lakers. And the Lakers with possession here. Down to five on the shot clock. The shot's good from McGee. Nice job to get to the rack before the D could get any help in the post. Harden kicks to Paul. Back to Harden. Pass to Paul. Looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. He's not going out muscle too many guys, but Paul still has too much grit to let a little contact keep him from finishing. Now here's Ingram. 12 points for him. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. Now we have a moment to look at how the blocks have been stacking up over the past several months for McGee. Well, we're just not seeing that same fierceness out of him defensively these last few months. He's lost a little bit of that intimidation factor. He's not blocking as many shots, and he's not making the same impact on that end of the floor. Now here's Rondo. The kick out to LeBron. The shot, no good. Some solid defense there by Nene. There's Gordon with the three. And James pulls it down. Lakers leading by 13. And there's the call on Nene. That's foul number two for him. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. And the Lakers making a change here. Muscala's checked in. Now here's Rondo. Ingram outside. Beyond the arc. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. And now, here's the 2K leaderboard with the teams that last season scored the most second-chance points in the NBA. The Lakers second. This was a team that was really savvy when it came to getting position under the boards and then getting those offensive putbacks. Harden kicks to Paul. Back to Harden. Shoots the three. No good, and he's three of six from the floor. Caldwell Pope against Harden. Rondo with the ball. James outside. Some solid defense from Fareed. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Here's Paul and the rejection by James. Well, James is just a sensational shot blocker. You better check your rear view mirror when you join to the hole. Now, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Now here's Harden. Ten points for him. Kicks it out to Paul. Shot clock at six. Can't hit from 12. Lakers leading by 15. Here's James. 
And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It goes on Kenneth Fareed. Gotta like the edge James plays with. Phenomenal at it taking it strong and picking up the foul. Lakers shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Up, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he makes the first. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Nene. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. Didn't have a free throw in the first quarter, but you can see he's starting to play with more energy now. He has a tougher attitude. Well, that's a shot they'll be happy with on every trip, no matter who's taking it. And here's Rondo. James Harden getting it to go from deep. Here's Ingram. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Ingram's got 11 here in this quarter alone. He has them reeling. They haven't had an answer for him this quarter. Well, Kobe, I know you can't stay any longer, but I just want to say thank you on behalf of all of our fans watching and playing the game tonight. Always a pleasure to uh, have you drop by our broadcast. No, thank you for having me, man, and uh, anytime. There he is, the legendary Kobe Bryant. And you know, Chris, you and Kobe both playing from the same era of the NBA. He was sharing his thoughts about current trends in the league. Do you feel it's different from when you and Kobe both played? Oh, definitely. I mean, when you look now, I do think that the game has changed, but I just think that's great because the game has evolved. Great players have come before us. Uh, great players uh, come and try to get better after that. And I think right now what you see is the accumulation of some great players and then young players studying the game and taking it to a new level. So can't wait to see where the game goes. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. James kicks to Ingram. Passes to Caldwell Pope to the inside. James and another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Slammed in by Fareed. Listen, you can count on Paul to find the open man. His court awareness, simply off the charts. Lakers leading by 14. Rondo looking around. On the wing, James. Shoots over Tucker. Drilled it right oh. as the clock hit. All zeros. Wow, what a clutch shot. He's got nerves of steel. Woo. And guts to match. That's how you rise to the occasion, fellas. And so it's Los Angeles in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot. LeBron, are you getting the ball where you want to get it, and is that helping you score? Um, I'm very pleased with my individual performance right now, but uh, you know, not so pleased with you know, how I'm trying to you know, help our teammates. You know, I'm, I got to do a better job of trying to get our teammates in the floor as well as keep myself in a good group, too. So um, hopefully I can do a better job of that in the second half. We'll see how it goes. Thanks, LeBron. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. LeBron James putting in some incredible work. He had 18 points, three assists, and one steal. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. 
Well, they knocked the win out of the defense in transition, converting fast break baskets in volume. It's a runaway lead right now. In fact, this looks like a track meet. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Rockets. Well, they struggle in a number of areas. Protecting the rim is really at the top of the list. They haven't made that a priority. They haven't put forth a whole lot of effort. You got to protect the rim. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. And through the first two periods, it seemed he got to the paint whenever he wanted to. Just a slasher's mentality. Yeah, and when you're trying to check a guy like that, you have to move your feet laterally, defensively. That didn't happen. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You know, when it comes to ongoing contract negotiations, C-Web, how distracting did you find it for those players uh, and for yourself to, to deal with all that going on? It can be very distracting if you allow it to take over. What I would suggest for players in those situations, whether you're a restricted free agent or a free agent, I would give you one piece of advice, and I think LeBron has epitomized this. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about what team or what pending teams or what city you like to go swimming in or you and your wife visit in the summer because all that does is create confusion. And all it does is send a message to fans and other players that maybe you're thinking about something that you can't control at that time. And so usually I think you should go introspective. Uh, you should work as hard as you can to improve and to get better. But that is something that definitely can distract you. And so hopefully you have a great layer of people that can be barriers from kind of the outside noise. The contract is going to be what it's going to be. And the only way you can continue to prove your worth is by going out there executing every day on the court. Good stuff. LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Rajon Rondo is out there with Brandon Ingram. And it's McGee in at the five. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Now, here is Harden. Kicks to Tucker. Pass to Paul. Back to Tucker. Fareed down low. Guarded by McGee. Fareed, no good. I like the shot selection on that one, despite the miss. Always going up for the alley-oop here. A yeah, nice, silky finish on the alley-oop from the stupendous feed. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. And so here is Houston. They trail by 18. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Tucker. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got assist number five here tonight. That was all about the assist. Great pass to set up the shot. James right side. That one goes. Count it. McGee's got 12 points in the game. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. McGee against Harden. And Fareed throws it down. Man, he's superb at finding open teammates. Harden, I love how he looks to shed a rock. And that unleashed chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. And the dunk by James. A good movement there. And the lead pass was right where it needed to be. And, Greg, what else is there to say about LeBron, one of the best to ever play the game? I mean, he's been the face of the league for so long, and he's done a tremendous justice to that title. It has always played with so many expectations and, and really has met every single one of them. It's a once-in-a-lifetime chance to see a guy like LeBron in the NBA, and he's truly been a generational talent. Free throw good, LeBron. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Timeout called, the Rockets. 
you got to give the Rockets credit. I mean, other teams may have looked at the Warriors and threw up their hands, but, but not the Rockets. Houston tried to put pieces around Harden to contend for a title. Let's take a look at how the shots have been divided up between three-point shots and two-point shots for the Rockets. And the three ball has been in the game plan, and it's been working for them. Uh, having that distance shot in the arsenal, very effective way to spread out the defense. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Gordon finds Harden. Back to Gordon. Just five on the clock. Here's the three. Kuzma pulls it in. Kuzma's got five rebounds tonight. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent finish. Oh, yeah, up by double digits. They're trying to keep the momentum, keep the foot on the neck. That's his focus right now. And the basket by Harden. It's his shooting that's kept them out of an even deeper hole here. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Lakers. The pass to Kuzma. Poked loose and taken away by Paul. The feed now to Gordon. And Fareed kicks it to Tucker. Gets a very good look and converts. Tucker's got 17 now. There you go again. A nice kick out after the D had collapsed on it. And that one's good, James. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Here's Harden. Right through the D for the layup. Harden's got 20 points. Oh, uh, well, that's tricky. Uh, trying to stop Harden without fouling. That might be one of the most difficult tasks in sports. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Ingram. And then for Houston, Green, he's checked in for Gordon. Amon Shepard has come in for James Harden. And it's Austin Rivers in for Chris Paul. Here's Kuzma. 22 points for him. Shoots over Tucker. And the shot no good, a bit short. And he's just a tough defender. Good positioning to get after that shot. Well, not all defenses are constructed to protect the mid-range area. Nicely done that time. The back-to-the-basket scoring, obviously more uncommon these days than it was in the past. Can we even say now with any kind of certainty, Chris, who has the best hook shot in the game? The best hook shot in the game by far, by far, still belongs to Tony Parker. No, Two he shots. is not a big man, but he did lead the league in paint scoring when he was in his prime. Now a little bit older, yep. he can still get to it. When Tony Parker gets in that paint, Kevin, he has the best jump hook. When I played in the game, the only guy that I respected their jump hook as much as mine was his jump hook because he would float it over bigs so easy. No kidding. Oh, no kidding, Kev. He still has the best jump hook floater in the game. That's right, that man Tony Parker. Lance Stevenson's checked in for the Lakers. Both free throws good from Green. Chris Coach turnover happens a lot in the NBA. 
and there are some people that feel that you know teams are too quick to make a change what do you think every situation is different sometimes it's obvious changes needed but sometimes it feels more like desperations think about it. the best franchises typically have stability and fans aren't stupid they know when their team is just trying to throw a, a worm out there to catch and to see who they can get or mm -hmm. if they're using the past coach as a scapegoat trying to redirect the emotions of the fans to direct them to cheer for their team uh, further on but a lot of times I tell you this though coaches getting fired are because the players don't execute and follow through a lot of times it's not the coach's fault but usually they have to take the fall and that's what being the leader is all about and unfortunately for the coaches there is quick turnover but uh, hopefully they can land back on their feet at a new place with another job with a team that'll listen and let them set the culture. Good insight. Nice understanding of where to go with the pass there. Stolen by Stevenson. He kicks it to Bullock. Over Shumpert. And it's Bullock missing. And here are the Rockets. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Now here's Rivers. He's got six. This is to Green. Four on the clock. Fires the three. Here's Fareed. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. A chance now for a three-point play. It's going to be Lance Stevenson. And Kenneth Fareed, an outstanding performance with Team USA in 2014. But, Greg, his minutes have gone down in recent seasons. Yeah, I mean, he's a great rebounder. He's got all the athleticism you need. But he's not a shooter or a big-time defender. In today's game, you need your big man to do at least one lanes. of those two. Mind the lanes. One shot. The Lakers with LeBron wasted no time trying to surround him with free agent signings, Greg, to help round out the supporting camps. Names came in rapid succession after LeBron committed. Caldwell Pope, Rondo, Stevenson all joined in short order. We'll see how far this team goes, but you cannot deny how interesting things have gotten with this roster. And so it's Houston with it after the basket by the Lakers. To the middle. And Fareed throws it down. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. Now, here's Stevenson. Pass to Rondo. Rondo is doubled. Stolen by Tucker. And it's the Rockets on the break. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. The Lakers making a switch here. Caldwell Pope's checked in. The Lakers with the ball. They led the game at one point by 20. And here is Muscala. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And Stevenson kicks to Bullock. Six to shoot. Three-pointer. Great D that time from Green. Rockets trail by nine. Passes it to Rivers. A three ball. Drills the three-pointer. Rivers has got nine. And defensively, you have got to extend to their shooters. They have been on fire this half. Yeah, they've been tremendous from beyond the arc. It's a shift from what they did in the first two quarters. Now, here's Bullock. He's got six. Guzma passes to Stevenson. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. All right, a chance to look at some stats for Rivers. How he performed last season. Averaged 15 points a game, four assists, and two rebounds. And guys, he's making winning plays. It's as simple as that. Not a star player per se, but he makes his presence felt. Well, yeah, lately he's been overachieving a little bit. Hopefully this is a sign of greater things to come. Free throw good from Lance Stevenson. 
I mean, you talk about the mystique and allure of Los Angeles. The Lakers are undoubtedly the number one show in L.A. Truly one of the great franchises in the NBA. And so he hits both. And with the legacy and the history of the Los Angeles Lakers comes the pressure to win. Well, for the organization, they have to be the best. I mean, uh, they have no qualms about going out and going to get a big-time free agent. The players up to the front office. Everyone in L.A. feels the pressure to win. Here's Shumpert. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Shumpert's got his first two points of the night. If you don't stick with Shumpert, especially in the pick and roll, that's where he burns you. Bullet kicks to Stevenson. Over Green. And again, no good by the Lakers. And so Green will bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Six-point game. 13 feet away. He can't get that one to fall. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Now here's Kuzma. Tight defense on him. No good there. Green taking his time here. And good that time. And now it's just a four-point Los Angeles lead. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. And Kuzma slams it in. Wow, you see how fast he got off the ground? I love whenever Kuzma rises up to throw it down. Pass to Rivers. Jacks up a three. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And that's 12 points for Austin Rivers. And you can see there the defender gets caught up on the pick. Team ball. Great execution on offense. Everyone working together. You wish you could have that on every play. Now here's Stevenson. Six points for him. Caldwell Pope against Rivers. Shoots from 14. That shot by Caldwell Pope. No good. Pockets trail by three. To the paint. Here's Shumpert. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Shumpert's got his second basket. Love the aggressiveness. Shumpert isn't afraid of going inside. Caldwell Pope kicks to Stevenson. And the layup's good off the glass. Stevenson's got four points now in the quarter. He's not going to back off when he's down. I mean, when he's got a chance to attack the basket. And the pass to Rivers. Finds himself wide open and drills it. Nice. Look how alert Shumpert he is. He knows whenever one of his teammates is open to get him to rock. Stevenson outside. Out to Kuzma. Caldwell Pope outside. A three-pointer, no good. And, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Rivers dishes to Fareed, and Fareed throws it down. Guys, close one here. No team getting a huge advantage. Yeah, tooth and nail fight so far, guys. These sides match up really well. Now, here's Stevenson. He's got eight. Kicks to Caldwell Pope. the three and he's good on the three ball. Caldwell Pope's got seven points. And you have to do a ton of distract Caldwell Pope. Just razor sharp concentration when he's going up with the shot. Shumpert finds Rivers. Count that as his seventh field goal nine tries. He's shooting 78%. Uh, it's just been one of those nights from he got into the floor of the game and has not lost his touch. Now here's Bullock, guarded by Shumpert. Now Bullock, Caldwell Pope outside. For three. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kyle Kuzma. That's his first foul.
tie game in Los Angeles. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. No, that's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That's an outstanding play right there. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. So on the floor for Houston, the engine of this team, Paul and Harden in the backcourt. Kenneth Fareed is out there with P.J. Tucker, and it's Gordon in at the three slot. A pure scorer. I mean, the key, as always, is confidence. When Ingram plays with this, he, he's capable of taking over. Here is Harden after the basket by Los Angeles. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Mike Muscala. That's his first foul. JaVale McGee's checked in for Los Angeles. Los Angeles on D. They led the game at one point by 20. And Fareed kicks to Gordon. Here's Harden. It's blocked. A seven foot three wingspan. Ingram's reach makes him a defensive factor. Caldwell Pope feeling it out of it. Pastor Muscala takes the three, and the three ball is good. The defenders need to recognize the importance of staying on him as we get into crunch time. Paul kicks to Harden. Pass to Fareed. Tucker dishes to Paul. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. And one on Caldwell Pope. As you talk about IQ for the game, skill, and competitive desire, few can rival Chris Paul. Well, his buddies LeBron and Wayne tease him about having a Napoleon complex. But whatever the reason, his motivation and perfection is impossible to stay. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw, good, Paul. I mean, you look at Chris Paul, he didn't play in the last two All-Star games, but he's a top 15 player in, in this league. Ajan Rondo is checked in for Mike Muscala. And so Paul nails both of them. And Chris Paul, all NBA first or second team just about every single season. And perennial first team all defense. But get this, only three point guards in league history have averaged 18 points, 10 assists, four rebounds, and two steals for an entire season. Russell Westbrook, he did it once, Isaiah twice, and Chris Paul from the time. Just three to shoot. Here's Caldwell Pope. Goes back up. And James with the layup. LeBron's got 25 points. Uh, uh, once again, the instincts of James. Just phenomenal. I mean, he, he's phenomenal at being at the right place at the right time. James against Paul. It's good. And you're starting to see some tired legs on those defenders as we come down the stretch here. Yeah, Greg, but this ball game is too close to be taking plays off on D. I don't care how tired you are right now. You better suck it up. Here's LeBron following the basket by Chris Paul. It's LeBron with the drive. Lays it up off the glass. LeBron's got four points now in the quarter. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Harden against Ingram. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down to just three in the basket from Harden. You tell me, how, how do you defend that, Kevin? I mean, hard and strength and command of the Rockets, it's, it's almost unfair. Rondo kicks to McGee. 
Rondo passes to James. It's rebounded by Houston. Paul outside. Harden against Ingram. Harden finds for Reed. Now here's Tucker. James covering to tie it up. Tucker can't get it to go. And extending the D there, putting a lot of pressure on the shooter. Yeah, because you're spread out. It can be difficult to contest these shots, but not for him. And I love the momentum he's building. Last game, he, he was just as dominant. And defensively, you know he's feeling good right now. And, and as the opposing team, you better adjust your scheme accordingly. But three, it's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got three assists tonight. If he has got to do something to take away his three-point shots, he's been knocking them down all night. Now here's LeBron. McGee with it. Now guarded by Fareed. And LeBron throws it down. And whether he's driving, posting up, or firing from deep, you know LeBron has it all. He's been a fantastic evening for him. Oh, Fareed in position. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. LeBron kicks to Ingram. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Ingram's got 20 points. Ingram spotting up and showing that that touch made him the second overall pick in 2016. Harden up top, guarded by McGee. Here's Fareed. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Fareed's got four this quarter. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Now here's James over Gordon. The Rockets pull it in. Fareed's got eight rebounds in this game. Paul surveying the floor. The dish to Gordon. Harden against Ingram to tie it up. That's tipped. Here's Caldwell Pope down low. James. And it's blocked by Gordon. And he's able to get it back. And that one's good. James. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Ingram against Harden. Out to the right wing. Feeds it to Fareed. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. And the Lakers making a change here. Kuzma's checked in. He hits the second from the line. James with it. And they double up James. And it's Kenneth Fareed with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Now here's Kuzma. Ingram outside. Back to James. Stolen by Fareed. I love when guys are alert and aware on the great job to prevent the entry pass. And Fareed throws it down. And great effort on the boards. And what a mean yeah. <laughs> that was, guy. I mean, you just will not see him ever quit on a play. That guy is a handful. You've got to have a body on him at all times. Yeah, I'm, fellas, he's a monster. He's never seen an offensive rebound he didn't think he could get to. And here's Gordon from outside. Rebound by JaVale McGee. 
McGee's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And Kuzma with the basket on the assist by Rondo. Kuzma's got 28 points for the game. Awesome at keeping his balance. Sometimes guarding Kuzma is impossible for the defense. Harden the pass to Gordon. Plays it up and banks it in. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Now here's LeBron. He's tightly guarded. And it's Eric Gordon with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Ingram. Got to admire the speed of Harden. I mean, he looks locked in on defense, especially with how he can test these shots. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Paul against Rondo. Paul finds Harden. No good. That would have tied it. They came close there to tying it up. That was a really important possession, especially at this stage of the game. Painful miss. Now here's Rondo. And here is Ingram. Harden with the defensive effort. That's a great job to converge on him inside and prevent that easy look. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. James outside. He kicks it to McGee. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And just great offensive execution by both sides, leaving nothing on the table. Well, yeah, you want to save your best for last. The guys on these teams know that. And that one misses. B.J. Tucker C. Webb was an undersized power forward at the University of Texas. He made a pretty effective transition to small forward in the pros. I mean, the way the game is going now, he's able to slide back to that power forward position as well. The strength to hold his ground. I mean, a good enough shooter to space the floor for his teammates. Stolen by Tucker. And Fareed throws it down. And aggressive defense causing the mistake, then cashing in. What a beautiful steal off of great anticipation. His instincts right there were right on. Now here's Kuzma. Back to Ronda. Down low. Out to Ingram. Just five on the clock. Over Harden. And it's Ingram missing. And so it's Harden bringing it up for Houston. To the inside, Tucker. Good, it's Harden with the assist that time. Tucker's got 10 points in just the second half. Look at this, I like this team basketball. Timeout, Keeping timeout. the ball moving till they find the right shot. And the Lakers call time here. And with the tide running against them, needs to talk it over with his guys. Man, they straight up been getting smoked over this stretch. They really need to refocus here. chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Kenneth Fareed. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. 
it must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. Muscala, he's checked in for the Lakers. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Luke Walton was saying to the team. He told him, hey, stick with what's working. He said they're giving us all the room we need to get easy looks in the paint. Let's keep working the ball inside. Guys, back to you. An even three-on-three -three break. Here's Fareed. And the dunk by Fareed. And, and Kevin, maybe the play of the game right there. A tremendous instinct straight to come up with a steal and then attack the basket. That is a game changer, guys. A four-point swing at the biggest point of the ball game. Oh, I love how James takes hold of these possessions. When his team needs a basket, he steps up to the plate. Ingram against Harden. Shoots it. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. You got to give the D credit there. It affected him. He didn't have much room to get the shot off. Kuzma can't get it to go. That's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You got to protect the rim. Well, that takes physical ability, good timing. Those two things that he possessed. And so it's Houston with it. The lead is two. And the wide open shot from Paul. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got assist number eight here in this one already. Los Angeles has gone 7 of 15 from three point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. LeBron, that's a two pointer. And some very quick points for him on that possession. LeBron's got 37. And here are the Rockets. They're on a 12 to 4 run right now. Harden surveying the D. Here's Fareed. And the dunk by Fareed. And just scrapes and claws for that offensive rebound. And doesn't take any chances there with the put. And Jay, strong work all around. And the mm -hmm. rebound and the stuff both. Wow. finish with the harm huge possession there to extend the lead now here's Rondo the wide open look here for Kuzma and again Los Angeles with the triple love how much Kuzma believes in himself an absolutely fearless competitor in clutch situations to the middle here's Paul it's tipped and it goes out of bounds uh, last touch by Paul Lakers trail by three. Rondo bounce pass. Shoots it up. It's good. And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Now, that is cold blooded. Well, we want people to tune in, don't we? <laughs> this is what they're tuning in to. Big moments. And stolen by Kuzma. Ingram dishes to James to take the lead. to Kuzma. Count it! Rolling up before our eyes. Kuzma shots like this reinforce the fact Bart. that he's the real deal. Timeout call. The Rockets. They're trailing by one. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? And usually you want to go for the two for one here to maximize the clock.
35 seconds left in the fourth. Harden kicks to Paul. Back to Harden. Paul outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Fareed the pass to Paul. On deep. Misses the three. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. And he commits the intentional foul. Drops the first one, and that will put them up by two. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. Those were pressure-packed free throws, and he looked as cool as he could be. So big to give them that three-point lead. Now a timeout called by Houston. They trail by three. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. What's your take, guys? You know, you'd love to be able to clear space and get that triple, but you can also do the two with a quick foul. Well, these are some of the toughest decisions. I mean, a good argument can be made for either case. seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Hands the three. Kevin and Harden defines the word clutch and this is Clutch City. The number of ways in which he scores in these moments just incredible. And so Luke Walton decides to call timeout. to the middle. Here's Muscala. Count it! Orchestrating this offense, James. So crafty at distributing the rock. So it's Los Angeles taking the W in a close one. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, LeBron. It's a season of peaks and valleys. Give me a snapshot of where you've been the last few games as a team. Uh, we got better today. That's the most important thing. We got better. We didn't take a step backwards like we did in our last two games. So 
uh, you know, we're happy about that. On to the next one. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.